that what it was? <laughs> Alright, Ish, what did we just do? Little TLC in Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein. Car came with a thing missing a button, but it was snapped in half. Like, didn't even have this like pocket. This handle was gone. So, but I kept the switches and I took this from the Junk 40, which was complete except for missing the one button. So I changed it out and for a while I was rocking it like that with the one button with the intention of only using the other module to replace this button. Never got around to it. Well, turns out, turns out the button's cracked. It's cracked on this one too, but in a more crucial spot on the original one that was inside of this. So we took the guts. Physically the switch itself was just not operating all the time. So we took the guts and the switches. Swapped it into this new chassis. To this new one and took the switch that this one was missing from the other one and both to make one. Together. And now... And we are now one. And now it works. <laughs> now we can actually put it in the car one and button God, the One God, one faith, one baptism. Oh, this guy. <laughs> one switch. <laughs> Just enjoying some sick beats from Porter Robinson, but we're warming the beast up. And while that's happening, we're getting our Goog Racing Shift knob. Haven't spoken up about these guys in a minute. I'm actually really excited to see how this is going to look and feel in the car, man. Yeah. Because it's nice quality. Not as long as we thought it would be, but we can or always get extensions. Or a DC round. You never know, that might be more comfortable. We'll see. So, the slip knot goes on first. Where's that pause button? Let me see it. Oh, there it is, pause. So this goes on first. You just thread it on a little bit, and then you thread on that guy. Shift knob. Come on. Because then once it threads all the way down, then the knob threads in. Now it will tighten itself up. Yeah. How's it feel? Ooh. Feels good. Ooh. It's a lot better than the pole thing in this thing. It's like a really bad golf club. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Door shut. We're gonna drive like that. No wheel. Yes. Go <laughs> ride the whip. <laughs> stiff your suspension is. How does it feel in your hands, bro? Uh, it's good. It's really skinny. Like, skinny. you're like, oh no! <laughs> you, forget, you forgot about the exhaust. No, I didn't think it would. <laughs> Was this a mistake? Oh god. Should have put that up on the channel ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is the challenge of having modified and lowered cars in the countryside is when you get on dirt roads like the one it takes to get to his house, you have to do this chicken dance around all the ruts and whatnot. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully there's no winning coming. <laughs> I don't see anybody. Oh yeah, definitely a wide turn. I forgot this car has power steering. You are blessed to have power steering in a car like this. I'm just telling you. Oh, Ish, since this is like the first time you've been back on the channel on a brick, how's it going? <laughs> Well, today's a good day. Do you know why? Why? Because they paved the road to my house. <laughs> yeah. It'll Normally be good for destroyed. like three days. Maybe. It's supposed to rain or something like that, wasn't it? It was supposed to get snow next week. <laughs> you can't win out here. You just can't win. Oh, Alright, watch the divots. Because the heavy trucks come through here and make the divots worse. Now we're on pavement. In two, one, and voila. We are. Hey, I know that place. The man I am on. <laughs> Alright, brother. What is that rattling? Oh, it's this. Oh my gosh, this thing grips. It needs better better tires for sure. Woo! What are you reaching for up there? No, this is flexing my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you've taken out in a while, isn't it? Yeah. So, not seeing any struggles on the fuel. Yeah, that fuel filter. I think the fuel filter was actually the problem, bro. Because it's holding pretty good now. All right, let's test those brakes. See if we did a good job. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh, there it is. I was like, hey, where are those brakes? <laughs> Man, she coming a long way, bro. Kintsugi is alive. The glorious beast doth live. I don't see anything. You know what you probably hit? That mid pipe way up the field. That's what I'm looking at. I don't see anything there either. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe their finishes are better than you thought. All in all, thoughts on the uh, audio? It's good. It, it definitely needs a sub. Yes. To help take some of the load off the doors and the deck, but I mean, there was nothing in there before. Yeah, literally. And like now, I mean, after you get your car reliable, sound is the next best mod because yes. it doesn't matter what you're driving. If you have tunes, you feel like the coolest dude in the world. <laughs> Which we were just bumping into some Which, Tokyo I'm Drift. I'm the coolest dude in the world. Oh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't really a car that you've built unless you look back at it, right? That's true. This man's been looking back at it the whole time. <laughs> Be like that chick that walked into a pole while she was filming the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> but on that note guys we're gonna end the video we're gonna get some pizza we're gonna call it a day thank you all for watching any questions if you need help with something let us know down in the comment section it's really dark see you guys Gene. see you <laughs> we'll see you next time god bless and peace